go to work. Cameron Coyle, you got a sec? These are words. Uh, yes, I have many, many seconds. 86,400 seconds in a day just to talk to you. <laughs> Your light bracelets were seriously insane. They were. Did you invent that technology? She did. I got this. She did. <laughs> They're wearable that convert gestures to colors. By responding to our actions and the music, the LED circuitry creates a musical light experience. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's funny more where that came from. I uh, set an appointment with my office. Uh, there's a spot open in the Simon Says Summer Internship Program. You'll meet our marketing and PR team, but I can see you already have one. Oh, Em, are you kidding me, G? Could this night get any better? Good question. And equally good answer. Circuit Beats is trending on Insta. <laughs> go, go us, go us, go. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I wanted to see if you guys could actually pull it off tonight. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. For real? For real. You know, Devin, you act like you're all me instead of we, but there's a we deep down inside you. And not to get all sappy, but I will. It means a lot you came to support us. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Group hug? Don't push it. You can't leave my girl hanging. <laughs> Maybe next time. What's up, Maywood Glenn? And let's give it up for Circuit Beats one more time. And now, please welcome Maywood Glenn Academy Zone. Elite! Music may be pure evil sound manipulation, but it sure is fun to dance to. Confirmation. Band is present. Copy. Four guards on duty. Two back, two front. Area secure. Ember, do you see anything? Ember. Sorry. Lost focus for a sec. I'm kind of loving how green the world looks through these things. There's a reason. The different shades that make up the monochrome night vision image are better distinguished when they're green. Well, live and learn. Plus, our eyes are most sensitive to light wavelengths near 555 nanometers. Green. Bottom line, green pictures are easier on the eyes. Poisonous. Its crate is addressed to the Rio de Janeiro Zoo. Guessing his friends are headed there. Friends? Yeah, of course, he has friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Addison, how's it going with the ship's computer? Mm, still trying. Just, um, keep that creepy crawly far away from me. Don't you listen to the grouchy widow notebook. Spotters are the world's most misunderstood creatures. They're vital to the ecosystem. They eat pesky insects and protect crops. If you didn't have corn spiders, entire cornfields could be destroyed. No cornfields means no corn. That means no tamales, no tortillas. I say viva las arañas. Bad news, Em. I can't get enough of a Wi-Fi signal inside this aluminum death trap. Anyone else feeling a little caliente? Tarantulas thrive best when the temperature is between 70 and 75 degrees. They don't do well much above 80. Then we have something in common. Something's most likely keeping tabs on this fella's climate. Like a wireless thermostat. With a dedicated signal. We have one in Cafe Adams to monitor our walk-in fridge. I can try to hardwire Addison to its transmission. And I think I know where we can find it. I'd go in there, but someone else is gonna have to hold Bernie here. I don't think so. You two seem to have a special bond. Well, I guess Maddie always said, face your fears. This is just staring mine right in its hairy eyeballs. Well, good luck, Em. Uh, you're coming with me. Great. Mm. 
Hello, I'm coming in. The camera we planted on Grady is working great. Is it me or does it seem like this guy's in a real hurry? Who's he calling? Doing a reverse phone number lookup. <sighs> Maywood Glen Cab Company? Yeah, I need a ride to the airport. As soon as you can get here. Why is he leaving town before the concert? Looks like Grady's trying to make a run for it. If he's not stealing those three T's, he might know who is. We have to do something to stop him, or at least slow him down until Michaela gets back. Hotel Millennial. Hi, this is room 519. I would like to order room service. Lots of it. Now. Found it. Addison, get us out of here. Aye, aye, Captain. Rerouting us back to the dock right now. It's okay to be impressed. Sometimes facing your fears is all it takes to conquer them. What? Come on, room service, get there. wanted an answer, we just got an answer. Maddie's definitely gone rogue. here yet? Everyone have their earpieces? Roger. Remember, we have two missions tonight. Keep eyes on Michaela. Without giving away, we're trailing her. And... Party! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bri Bri. Dylan and I have a table. Great. Uh, catch you guys later. Oh, okay. Cam. Kyle! Hey, rockin' the Robin Hood look. <laughs> Kyle, about tonight... Let me guess, you don't exactly want to be my date? <laughs> yes! I, I mean, no. I mean, there is someone you are supposed to be here with tonight who is here, and it's not me. I hope somewhere in that sentence you're talking about Michaela. I was fishing around at school to see if you were coming to the dance with anyone, and it got majorly messed up. I'm sorry. Cam, it's fine. Where's Michaela? Oh, hold on a sec. I need a location for the owl. Michaela's by the DJ booth. Michaela's by the DJ booth. How do you know that? I can hardly even see it from here. Woman's intuition. She's dressed as a unicorn. Go! <laughs> Stop! Enough water bottles! Here, try this handy dandy cup. It expands. You can refill it over and over to your heart's content. Plus, it comes in many decorative colors. Hey, Peacock, take the sapphire blue one. It perfectamente matches your beautiful plumage. Huh? I can roll all that around all night. No thanks. Besides, the water fountains don't even work. Well, that's only between 10 and 2. Michaela, can I talk to you? Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you were a unicorn. I'm a centaur, duh. Oh, uh, sure. My bad. I'm so confused. 
Oops. Sorry. Trying to find an empty recycling bin. Folks are going through stone water. Look at his split. Mr. Litterbug friend, Bri Bri. IAPCAHF. It's a party. party. Chill and Chill have, and have fun. fun. Oh. Um, translating's usually my thing, but that's cool. Sharing is caring, right? It could be all our things. Plus, we can do all the recycling together after the dance. Actually, Bri Bri, Dylan's throwing an epic after party as soon as the dance ends. You in? I am so in. I'm so in, I'm out. As in, I'm out for a good time. By that, I mean I'm in. Can my friends come? Well, Dylan's parents said only a few friends. Keep it small. Go to the party, Bri. We'll deal with the recycling. Right, Ember? Darn straight. We've got work to do saving Mother Earth. Let's do this. Bri said people drink stone water because it tastes better than tap water. Well, we're here to put that theory to the test. Let's get this fiesta started. Step right up and take the H2O challenge. See if you can tell the difference between stone water and plain old Maywood Glen tap water. What's your 20? Casing the perimeter. Coast is clear. Roger that. Hello, Agent McAllister. I'm reporting for duty. Ready when you are. Please confirm Bobby Stone's current location. Accessing the security cameras at Mighty Muscle Gym. Location confirmed. Can you buy us some more time? Of course. <laughs> nice touch. You clear on the plan? Crystal, mission to extract information from miles underway. Let's do this! Good afternoon, Miles. Bobby Stone here. Oh, Mr. Stone, sir. You're home. Cut your workout short again, did you? Shall I remove dessert from your dinner tonight? All right, fine. Whatevs. Just open the door. Are you sure those results are right? The numbers don't lie. It was a tie. This just proves my point. People drink stone water because they're fooled by the fancy schmancy sales pitch and convenient bottles. They do taste exactly the same. So it would seem scientifically impossible that with the wide range of chemical combinations, these two waters were not even a teeny weeny bit different. Something fishy is going on here. And I don't mean it tastes fishy. I get it. You're saying something's fishy about these results. 